Yep, so what we found out is that there's a... Uh, uh, we found out there's no fish there. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna process these uh, these small blues. I was gonna smoke them, but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna smoke them. I'm just gonna straight clean them and probably give them to somebody that I know that would appreciate them. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna scale these up like in an area that I don't want a bunch of fish scales because. I don't want a bunch of fish scales here, right? So you put it in a shallow pan like this. Maybe a, uh, maybe a, like the lid of a storage tote, something like that. Works well if you don't have one of these. You wouldn't want to use like a five gallon pail because you can't see the side. You want something that's like wide and open and flat like this, you know what I mean? So, and you probably won't be using a giant fish scaler like this, right? And you know where I got this out of? I got this out of my kitchen drawer. You know why? Because I can. That's why. Um, so anyway, when you are scaling the fish, you want to pay special attention to this area down here. Always right here. That always gets missed. And up here gets missed. A lot of times the collar right up here gets missed. Like, it's not a big deal if you're filleting and throwing the collar away anyway. You're skinning the fish, obviously. But... A little you know like how long did that take no scales at the dinner table that's what I always say all right here we go this is how to uh, how to straight clean it's considered a round fish but for this case it's a blue fish so here's what you want to do you want to cut the tail off like that and give him a trim there give him a trim there all right you can do this pretty quick when you got a whole pile of them to do. And then if you push down right here, he'll flare his gills. You stick this between the gills, give it a clip, stick this down his esophageal membrane, and that'll open up. All right, that's step one. I'll do that again real fast, get the idea. How to do this, it's not too hard. Just don't want to cut your fingers off in the process. All right, so we're gonna. Next thing we're gonna do is take the gills out and the guts out. And if you can do that in one swipe, usually pretty good. It usually takes more than that. It's all right. I normally I'd have a different kind of scaler, so I'm just gonna use my fingers because that's what that's what I got. All right. So grab the gill here. Okay and just pull away from the skull. I'm not squishing the meat back here. I'm grabbing here on the skull and as I'm pulling away, that, that's gonna separate from there. All right, so I got it started. Now I'm gonna grab this membrane here that separates the breathing antler from the stomach cavity. I'm gonna pull that out right there, off to one side like that, okay? And then, okay, so we got the nitrogen sac right there. Run your finger that way. Down the nitrogen sac. Like that. And that'll expose expose the bloodline. Alright, so again, you saw how I cut them, that's pretty easy. There we go. Like this. You rip the head away. You get that started. And you should be able to just rip it back like this, but bluefish for some reason you can't do that. So you just pull back like that. Pinch off the the rectum and then pull this back here this uh nitrogen sack and you know what i'm going to use my good my good office scissors to do this with you know why because i oh yeah. uh yeah i gotta go wash my hands i just got i just got contaminated with my own blood i did uh yeah i'm gonna turn the camera off with these fingers too <laughs> all righty then so uh, I got them all scaled up and all rinsed off, got the bellies, the cavity all cleaned out, right? And uh, they look pretty good. So I saved one stomach because uh, there's something in it. And I can't imagine what this is because like the smart camera battery low. Oh, you son of a gun. All right, so I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. I'm actually going to run an extension cord out here. After fishing there this morning, I can't imagine what this might have been right it's 
a bunker. A peanut bunker. Look at that, that thing. Well, one of them made it. I don't know which one it was now, but I mean, nasty, nasty fish. I can't see what y'all are seeing because my camera battery is low. But all right, so we're gonna take the bone out of this one. Maybe if the camera battery doesn't die, you might be able to see how I do it. So I just cleared the the head up behind that bone right there. So now I got the wing bone in here, and I'm gonna start back here kind of towards the tail, uh, I'm going to steal the knife first because I think it's been in my drawer for a minute, I do, so we're going to go ahead and start right here on the top side of that fin right there, we're going to go in to thar and then we're going to, we're going to feel around where the rib cage is and we're going to go down like uh, that away on the rib cage, and then we're going to turn the knife and push it down this way, kind of, oh, I cut through, Damn. I'm just going to have to redo this whole movie, I'm going to have to go fishing again, because right, that is unacceptable, so anyway, we're going to go on the bottom side, do the kind of opposite of what we just did, and I'm not going to do this for all, I'm just showing off, I just don't have enough shit to do in my new apartment and this is what I need to be doing you know why because I can so and then like we cut through the where the rib bones meet the pin bones right there along this right here with the tip of the knife and we're gonna run down this way with the tip of the knife and we're gonna go almost through just imagine that still like I got I bought some super glue some uh... Oh, what the hell's it called um, Loctite, Loctite super glue, best super glue ever. I'll never use whatever kind of super glue I used to use. Now you see that? I even forgot what the hell it was called. That's how good Loctite is. And I should get an endorsement from Loctite. Now maybe if I glue this fish back together, I'll get an endorsement from Loctite. You know, it's probably only, let's see, what time is it? It's, uh, it's five o'clock. And, I mean, this is how I am now. <laughs> Imagine by eight. That's why I love fishing at night. I truly do. Not, I mean, not night, but today I didn't fish at night. But fishing at night is the greatest. Because you come home really tired, working the day before maybe. And, uh, like, it's just, it's, a, it's an experiment in idiocy sometimes and I'm kind of I kind of like that I kind of like that oh boy yeah if you I, I lost my camera bag somewhere in uh, the last few minutes uh, the last not few minutes a few days I had it the other day I have no idea I didn't look through the Jeep yet but I looked in the house every spot that it might ever be six times because that's what you do when you can't find something right all right, so that was the, the rib bones, All right? So this is a small fish, right? You can't afford to lose meat on this. So once you get through the rib bones, and if you notice, they were attached to the pin bones here. The pin bones going that way, rib, go, rib bones going that way. So at the connection point between the rib bones and the pin bones, you put your knife in this way, the tip of the knife, and you bring it out that way. That gets you to that point, that, that specific, you know, 90 degree, it's not a 90, but it's probably 65, 68, something like that. So you clear that out, and then you get right up to where the pin bones are, and then you lay the knife down, and I hope you can see the, the flex that I'm putting in that knife, right? Like I said before, I could cut a, I could cut a micron. I could. Probably. So there's a wayward bone as I'm bragging. You see that? A wayward bone. Yeah, that was part of the wing bone right there. There's one bone that comes down over there. There's another set of bones that comes here. Perspective here. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's re it's really, really kind of late. So those are the pin bones right there. You don't know where they are. Run your finger backwards this way along the fillet like this. And these these bluefish are really small. I mean they're gonna cook out. 
um, as you get further back like they probably run to about here to about back here but they get soft right about here and you can't feel them as is in the case with with most fish they get softer as you go I mean all fish they get softer as you go back but uh, oh, look at this I missed a gill yeah just run your finger backwards along there and uh, you can tell where they are cut along the top side like that bottom side like that and this is hard because the head's here and it's bumping into the knife right Oh, this is going to be a long video. I didn't even get to the Burgals yet. The Burgals, they're going to be the, the catch and cook. The catch and cook Burgals. So, um, yeah, that's a... Alright, so here's the deal. It's kind of like the uh, stuffed flounder that we did. If you didn't see that movie yet, go look at... Uh, out of stuffed flounder or something. I forget what I called it now. But, so, there's a bone here and a bone around here. This is boneless, this is boneless, this is all boneless. There's some bones here, which are actually, hear that? They're the spine, right? But if you know where they are, if you know your, if you know your way around fish, you can find all that stuff and not eat bones. That's the idea, that's what I'm doing right now. That's, uh, that's the whole reason. All right, so I'm gonna do this one real fast without talking. And hopefully not go through. Oh man, it's too. It's too much power for one to have. This sharp knife. You know what I mean? Like I cut through it already. That's terrible. I have to give this away for free. If someone paid for it. This whole 28 cent bluefish. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's my. That's a surprise that's coming up. Hello. Oh my God. That's not. That's not what I thought it was. That's not what I thought it was. But I have a surprise coming up. I do. I have a surprise coming up. It's supposed to happen today, the surprise. It's, uh...